So the thing with Andre is, is he's a builder first and foremost. And I don't think solidly, I don't think he could have expected such a response, such a crazy response from the community in terms of the hype, the TVL and the pressure he was finding. I mean, this one guy is responsible for all the pressure of the community. And it was obviously too much for him. Do I necessarily agree with the way that he stepped down? Absolutely not. I think it was kind of rash. And I think that they could have done a lot, uh, much of a better job of communicating with people. But at the same time, I do understand that the pressure would have been a lot for him. And I think this is exactly what happened. It was just all too much. And he would prefer to work in silence. So obviously we did get that announcement. Then after this speculation, a day later, it was confirmed. One of Andre's major partners said, Andre and I have decided that we are closing the chapter of contributing to the DeFi and crypto space. There are around 25 apps and services that we're terminating on the 3rd of April. So in a month, Months time, Andre will be terminating some of the major projects that he is involved with. And I'll get into the wording of that termination in a second because it was a bit misleading. It's not exactly true, but the projects that he's terminating are Yearn, Keeper, uh, Multi Chain. I think that's the Phantom branch. Um, then we've got Solidly, uh, Bribe.curve.finance, um, and all the pro kind of projects and services he was involved in, uh, he is terminating. But it's kind of interesting wording the word terminating because there was kind of a bit of misinformation here. So if you actually look uh, a, li a little bit earlier before this post, Andre himself said, Please don't spread misinformation. My LinkedIn is the only source of truth. I've left all my previous projects. Website will remain up till the 3rd of April. I'm busy with all my handovers. Now, this is interesting because in the official announcement, they said Andre was terminating. But in this uh, exact message that he sent, he said he's busy with handovers. And what this suggests is that he's actually handing over some of these projects. So I don't think, and I don't think it's even possible for some of these major projects just to die and burn. That's not what he'd want. He wouldn't want to create a bunch of projects and then suddenly just put them out into the world and basically rug. He wouldn't want to rug like that. I think what they are actually doing, and I have some proof of this in a second, is handing over some of these projects to dedicated teams. So Andre's involvement may not be direct at the moment, but he does want to hand some of these projects over. And Solidex actually announced this, uh, and they said that we have made arrangements to maintain the Solidly UI going forward. Solidly's contracts and are immutable, so they will go on forever. So they're basically saying they're going to take over the UI. So whether this means that Solidly can be maintained, uh, is up for, up for debate. However, SolidX have come out and said that they have made agreements to maintain the UI. So that's the thing with these projects. Something like a Yearn Finance isn't just going to die and burn and like we're never going to see it again. I don't think that's the case at all. I think Andre is working on handing it over. I just thought the wording of the announcement was a bit weird. Like why would you say terminate? Uh, it was. I think that was just a poor choice in wording. And that's what I said before. I think they probably could have handled this situation a little bit better because a lot of people panicked off the back of this. So what actually happened to TVL and what happened to funds in Phantom? That is one major question we have to ask ourselves before we make any decisions on whether we exit, enter, buy, sell, or hold these ecosystem tokens right now.